Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Join me as we uncover unique energy solutions across Canada. Every week, we'll bring you the stories of people in businesses and communities who are changing the way we power this country. Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Today we're in Calgary, Alberta. We're going to talk to a genuine wind energy cowboy. His name is Dan Balaban. He owns a company called Greengate Power. We're gonna find out why he went into the wind energy business and how he became so ambitious about creating wind farms in Alberta. Why did you go into the wind business, Dan? Wind industry is a, is a phenomenal uh, business opportunity. And I, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, this is the third business that I've started up. And as an entrepreneur, I think you look for a couple different things. First, you obviously need to find a uh, opportunity, a business opportunity that's interesting and challenging. And wind energy definitely fits the bill there. The other thing as an entrepreneur is I think it's very important to do something that you're passionate about. Passionate? Yes. But is wind a good business opportunity? Personally, I believe that the uh, you know clean tech industry, the green industry, whatever you want to term it, is one of the one of the best business opportunities of the next decade. In wind energy alone, it's been estimated there's going to be over a trillion dollars invested in wind energy and related infrastructure over the next decade. So you know there's a tremendous amount of money that's flowing into the sector. Think of Dan Balaban as a wind cowboy. In five short years, he's gone from concept to building some of the biggest wind projects in Canada. So Green Gate Power, we're a wind energy developer. Uh, we're developing, we developed nine projects across Alberta, totaling over 1,500 megawatts. That's a lot of wind in Alberta. Uh, to put that into perspective, if we were to build out all our projects, that would represent a capital investment of over $3 billion. So a very major economic investment in this province. Um, right now, the first project we developed, called the Halkirk One Wind Project, 150 megawatt project, is under construction. It'll be completed later this year. And we're currently putting the final touches on our 300 megawatt Black Spring Ridge wind project, which will be the largest operating wind project in Canada when it's completed in 2013. So that first project that you developed, uh, help me understand how big it is. You said it was 150 megawatts. Like, what, what does that look like? How many turbines? How much energy is that? Yeah, so to put that into perspective, that's uh, the Halkirk project. It's uh, 83 turbines. It's uh, state-of-the-art equipment. It's built with uh, Vestas uh, turbines, which is the world's leading uh, manufacturer of turbines. Um, 83 turbines, going to power uh, 50,000 uh, homes in Alberta, uh, reduce our greenhouse gas emissions in the order of 300,000 tons per year, uh, which is equivalent to removing 60,000 cars from Alberta's roads. The size and scale of the turbines can be quite intimidating. Luckily, there's a scaled down model right in the office. So this is a model of a, of a Vestas uh, wind turbine, which is very similar to the type of turbine we'll be deploying at our uh, Halkirk and Black Spring Ridge projects. Uh, it's a Lego turbine. Vestas is a Danish company. Lego is a Danish company. So Vestas actually commissioned a, uh, a Lego turbine. And this today is actually our first operating wind turbine. Whoa. Um, I think our engineers have uh, made some adjustments to the gearing. The turbines don't actually spin that quickly in the field. But this, you know, this will give you some perspective. Uh, the turbines in the field are actually, uh, you know, quite a bit larger. Uh, so what you've got here is you've got a tower. The turbines in the field will be about 80 meters tall. Uh, the blade diameter is 90 meters. So to put that into perspective, the you know, diameter of the blades is like the size of a football field. These are immense pieces of equipment. They're actually quite beautiful uh, if you see them in the field. And each one of these is capable of producing five, uh, power for 500 homes. So quite a very, quite a significant uh, piece of machinery and uh, something that really has a tangible impact. Greengate Power is ambitious. If all of their planned projects get built, it would mean more than doubling the size of Alberta's wind industry. I think to be, an, to be successful in this business and to be successful as an entrepreneur, you got to do things differently than everybody else. So the two things that I think we've done that have been really innovative is one, Instead of following the wind, like everybody else does, we follow the transmission lines because unless you can connect into the transmission grid, you can't bring your product to market as a, as a wind energy project. Second thing that we did is we found the best market in the world in which we could sell the environmental benefits that are generated by our projects. Wind energy projects generate two sources of revenue. We generate power like every, every other power project, plus we generate an environmental benefit. And we have uh, done the first and only deal to sell our renewable energy credits to a California-based utility, the first and only international deal that's ever been approved 
by California regulators. By heading up the highway away from the Pincher Creek Alberta wind corridor, Balaban found transmission lines, plenty of wind, and lots of landowners who welcomed the wind business. The money behind those renewable energy credits made the project financially viable. Greengate's home province of Alberta, however, currently has no such policies to encourage renewable energy development. If you'd like more information about the series, visit our website at www.greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook or Twitter. I'm David Dodge.